So we continue today um, our conversation about how to manifest at the snap of your fingers. And as we moved into the topic, actual manifestation itself, now, now we are talking about and asking actually um, a key guidance, how to really get out of the negative energies that you may be experiencing because uh, you got angry at somebody or you just got off the fight. So it always feels yucky. It doesn't matter if it's like you're feeling it for five seconds or you're feeling it for like one hour or if you even go further and thinking about getting revenge uh, of <laughs> whatever has happened you know, to you, like, no, no, no. But many people don't know how to actually get out of that yucky energy and become peaceful again and how to even handle that situation of the anger or somebody is getting angry at you and you know like how you feel it you, like you have the whole rush like the blood the heat just like occupies your whole body and rushes upward to your crown chakra you know um it's like a very unpleasant energy that we may have experienced. And we're so good at getting angry or getting like upset or irritated. It's like the number one response because we're so good at practicing this. But how do we get out of that energies? Uh, Brandy, could you guide us on how to quickly actually move from that point where? we don't poison ourselves and we can again be harmonized and create a positive energy within us and around us. Uh, it's like a, how do we recover from this yucky <laughs> negative energies? Right. Right. So how I try to do this and I practice this is I take a deep breath, take a deep breath and try and release um, whatever I'm feeling at that moment and try to think like, is this, what I want. Is this me? Is this my energy that I'm feeling? Is it this person's energy that's coming through to me? Is that what I'm feeling? Am I reacting to this? Um, and we're human. Of course, we're going to feel that way. But I feel like you have to take deep breaths to calm down and just try and connect with God, universe, spirit, and ask, you know, just please shower me with some patience. Um, this person, this situation, is, is happening, but is it worth the response of being angry, right? And that is not in alignment with, with who I am or what I want to do. So I think it's just trying to put yourself and reminding yourself, this is not good for me. And, and talking to yourself with love as well, just, you know, good self-talk and, and trying to diffuse that blow up rage that may you may want to do at that point and so what I'd like to say is with divine grace ease and love I let this go with divine grace ease and love whether it's that person or that um, whatever they said or the person that cut me off going to the grocery store or the one that cut me in line whatever that I, I try and just ease it that way Thank you so much. Um, it's very important to actually have the exit or like plan B, how to get out of it. Because if we don't, if we allow ourselves to actually vibrate at this negative frequencies and vibration, it may affect us. And what, what, why is it so important? to get out of this negative energy what are the side effects of like staying for too long into that or choosing um to stay brandy would you advise us on that um choosing to stay in a negative vibration just brings your vibration down and it makes you feel terrible um it doesn't serve you at all it makes you sick it makes you mean it uh, doesn't serve you um and it's, it's just not a place to be in. That's not a normal place for anyone, really. It takes a lot of energy to be mad, if you think about it. 
if you think about like when you do get mad and you just have to stay there and you're just like, Ooh, I have to think of this, this, and this. And you know, you know, that's, that's not place where you want to be. Cause I physically get sick when I get mad, you know, or I get angry or I'm upset. I will feel nauseous because it's not who in the alignment of, of who I am or what my body needs. It's toxic. And you don't, you don't want that. Absolutely. And you know, here's another example that if you still believe that energy work is non-existent, it's kind of, um, you cannot really put the finger on it, but the emotion and the feeling you always can experience. And it's, it's, there's no confusion. You either feel good or you feel bad. It's like that prominent, that evident that, you know, and human beings are always, we have a tendency to go toward the pleasure, um, good, positive emotion. And if we want to vibrate at this frequency and vibration, it is important to actually be aware that you are getting into that negative state and snip yourself off that as soon as possible, because you know, delaying it can actually delay the process even of the recovery because it just doesn't feel good. So even when I feel like I'm getting little meow, like (laughs) right away, I'm like, oh, I'm so aware because right away I feel this interference, you know, like of who I don't want to be for sure. And I know I will pay this consequences. Like there are always consequences for me. Right. right. And then I have to deal with something that, that is brought by the universe that is not really pleasant because I have created this experience right. for myself or somebody else. So the right. next step for me is to learn how this feels and it does not feel good. So good. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, it is absolutely up to us wanting to get out of it or continue to stay into it and maybe we even at first don't have the awareness of you know or understanding the importance of getting out of it nor knowing how we can recover how we can exit and recover from these negative emotions but they are real and they are actually um can be very powerful and effective like you know like I always say, look at the cancer, you know, um, you cannot really feel it or like see it. It's like, it's still within our body, but the way it eats, like it eats the healthy cells, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, deforms it and how it creates like this uh, tumors. It's like, it poisons the whole body. So the emotion is almost like a beginning of the stage. And if People who experience lots of anger, burst of anger, you know, many times right before they have heart attack is actually they have that experience of a very strong emotional feeling of anger that is like bursting. And then the next thing you see in the movies, they hold their heart and then just fall down on the floor because they have a heart attack because it's such a negative very powerful energies that actually affecting our heart. And then, you know, the moment that the doctors uh, announce that the heart stopped beating, then you're dead. You cannot change the situation. And then you reincarnate. It's like waking up with the whole concussion, (laughs) not knowing (laughs) where you are, who you are, and you start the whole journey again. again. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's like, it's tiring. (laughs) It's a cycle. You have to get out. Yes, exactly. So, I mean, I suggest let's, I'm inviting you to develop a new habit this year in 2023, because I'm sure we will have many reasons this year, including um, to experience this negative emotions, maybe even disappointment, uh, maybe even, you know, fear, uh, worry, which is also this yagi negative energy that could affect our manifestation process of all this good and positive and actually for your best version to come out and support you in the 2023. So 
treat it as a new habit that you are eager to develop within the next 21 days because it's not like you wake up tomorrow and you're like 100% aware of your every moment of, you know, uh, whatever you are just about to feel. But it takes a practice, just like me, you know, 10, 20 years ago, uh, how I deal with these negative emotions now. And back then, totally different stories, but I put as a priority to change that within myself. And I'm sure Brandy has been working on this as long as she realized that her purpose of life is to actually serve and help people and increase her awareness, increase her growth. And it didn't come with like waking up overnight and mastering that process, you know, it takes time. It does. It, it's a journey. It, it's you're, There's never a final destination to any of this. And that goes with everything. So you, when you practice, you practice, you know, being a good person, you practice, you know, being creative, you practice, you know, a, a trying to create abundance or whatever it is that you want. It, it, there's never ever a time where you're like, okay, I'm done. I've learned everything. I, you know, I woke up and, and I've achieved everything that I wanted to do. And I'm so enlightened and, and I know everything. And that's just not how it works. It's really a process. It's just a lifelong journey of, of getting to that point of, and I'm still learning, you know, and of course we're all human. We're all going to experience these emotions. And it's just how you put that plexiglass up and, 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 and fight it off if someone's going to either come at you from it, or if you're going to walk into a situation, um, it's learning how to deal with those emotions. Yeah. Uh, humans' emotions are like stock market. My teacher <laughs> says it's like a stock market, you know, <laughs> like it's like happy. Oh, screw it. Okay. I have the hope. Yeah. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> you know? Or a roller coaster, you know, whatever you call it, but you know, what we are practicing was develop positive thinking, um, transforming, uh, recovering from negative emotion is how do we maintain the peaceful heart? How do we maintain not to get angry, upset, even though we really, really, really want it. And that's a natural first response of a human being. It's like a the whole nervous system is set up as a fight and flight response. So it is natural for the human being because it's like it's like biological weapon that mm -hmm. is programmed within us, which is not helping sometimes. And the first thing is like we're offending, like we are protecting ourselves. Or they're like, what? like you know like tiger mama you know acting <laughs> so it is a natural process but we can transform it and also deal with the confidence but actually from a place of peace mm -hmm. from the place of choosing not to get back angry upset and create a perfect revenge plan right because sooner or later, whatever we are causing to others, we just have to pay for it. It, it. It's like you cannot skip that law. You are on Mother Earth. You're living here as a human being. You are under that Inyan law. What you give is what you receive. And you cannot get away from it. So right. if we're taking it from one place, it will be taken from us from another place. And that includes our health, our relationships, our finances, our work, our friends, um, our loved ones, every aspects of life that we are actually dealing with every day. So think twice <laughs> before <laughs> you choose to go into the negative emotions, because later on, we can always, you know, uh, it's like receiving the fruits <laughs> of whatever we have um, planted. And yes. that helps me to also in my manifestation process, I remember that one time I've heard one phrase and this is what I cannot share enough. And this actually 
So whatever future you want to be is what you're experiencing now. So if you want to be more loving, you got to be more loving. Mm -hmm. If you don't want other people to be angry at you, like if if you're getting angry, then that anger is just going to be echoing somewhere in the future through other people. It's just like give or receive, right? So whatever future you want to be is what you are creating now. You're being kind and loving. This is what is waiting for you. You're being generous. The generosity is waiting for you. You're being grateful. The more gratitude and grateful people are meeting you on their way. So it's almost like we're paving the way, literally, of Mm -hmm. our future by what we are creating, thinking, feeling, acting at this very moment. Because even though it's future, but we are creating it now. And that helps me really to get visual and behave (laughs) because, you know, we only remember, oh, I wish I haven't said that. Oh, Mm -hmm. I wish I haven't wished that. Mm -hmm. And wishy-washy really doesn't work because it's already going to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. So why don't we reverse this process and don't let this happen at this moment of now stop living in the past because the past is already past i mean forget about it right don't bring this negative energy from the past the future has not come yet so why focus on something that is not even tangible but this very moment of creation is beyond valuable tangible and important and whatever energy you're going to put into the moment of now This is the fruits that you are actually going to be eating in Mm -hmm. your future. Anything that you would like to add to that process, uh, Brandy? I think you said it perfectly. And it is the the thoughts you you think and the words you say create your, your reality, can create your future. And if you're going to be negative, you will invite that in. If you're going to... uh, be positive and and have gratitude and and have an open heart and and have compassion and harmony and love you will receive it tenfold it, it that's just how it works and and i've experienced that in 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 my life I, so i can attest to that that that's exactly how it works yeah so mm-hmm. perfect well at least we agree on that um, <laughs> process. That's good. So we are just uh, sharing that um, actually very simple but successful formula how to become um, really good at manifestation and the importance of staying positive. And I know you probably have read many books and some of you may even get irritated that like, what? All we need is to stay positive and then everything is going to be transformed. Well, start with this of course you will need more you will need more blessings you will need more um, guidance to follow the process of this transformation whether you have financial challenges relationship disharmony or you have chronic condition or you want to improve on your health and even increase the length of your life is Follow these simple steps at first. And then if you want to go further, of course, you will need the support because it's hard to achieve something like doing on your own. Like I try to stay in my communities. I have my own coaches that actually help me to um, grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually, um, even helping me with my health and you know increase the longevity all of this is very relative but you know it's in the long run but what can we do like now in the moment of now don't underestimate the moment of now as the beginning of the pivot point of the manifestation process so as we're going to the closing of this very beautiful powerful interview with brandy I want to uh, actually share something very important with you. And 
you know, whether you have been sick or you have not been sick, congratulations. But at some point, we all have health challenges or relationship challenges or even financial challenges, um, uh, some arguments with friends, difficulties at work, or maybe if you are an entrepreneur and you feel like you're being stuck in your own business. So, you know, all of this can be transformed like um, Brandy knows it I know it and um, even if you know someone or your family member or your friends who may not be 100% open or you just want genuinely to help those people right and you believe that you have a person who can help your family, your friends, or even yourself, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly the person that could 100% believe in this energy work. The energy work works exactly if Brandy and I were sitting right, like half a foot, like, you know, between us, space energy or we were doing this remotely and she was let's say in Timbuktu somewhere <laughs> and that was in the Phoenix Arizona <laughs> right right like no space no time for the energy it works just as well but at the same time it will work if even if we offer the blessings to somebody that not even aware that we're offering them the blessings. Why? Because the energy has no time, no space. And it works equally, just like if you believe or you don't believe. But of course, if you believe your heart channel is open more so you can just absorb much more and the transformational process could happen for you much faster but lots of the times we would offer the blessings and healings to somebody who was not aware of the blessings or maybe not 100% believing in them and they were surprised that it worked so we never know what is going to be the condition but please remember that there is no space there is no time for the energy healing. So Brandy, I know that, uh, when was it? Two years ago? Probably yeah. a couple of years ago, right? Mm -hmm. it, yes. It, it seems like yesterday. So that's yes. why I'm asking. Uh, could you please share your um, very miraculous story and, you know, um, still very hard touching to me, how mm -hmm. quickly your actually family member recovered Um and the benefits of receiving the blessings before and the after surgery and the during the recovery process. Okay, um, it was in 2020 um, that my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer and it was um, the mildest form of breast cancer that you can have. So it was very treatable. And um, you know, when, when you get that news, you don't know what. And I remember reaching out to you and asking for blessings or, and I remember just coming to you and asking, you know, like, what am I going to do? Well, what should I do? And you offered healing for my mother. And um, in that state of, of not knowing, of unknown and having someone like you come in and, and offer what you did, the blessings for her, she understood what she needed to do and she did it. And it was an automatic um, relief for her. She felt it all over because she was open to it. She wanted to be healthy. She wanted to be healed. And she knew she would be okay. But you don't want that to, to manifest into something else, to metastasize and go anywhere else. So um, to see her from a kind of a, a nervous, in a way, almost fearful type of, of state to a calm and it's going to be okay. I give my worry away. I have these blessings and I do them and I believe in them. It was um, night and day. And the recovery process from that was, um, 
in weeks, basically, you know, when she finished her rounds of six weeks of radiation. Sure, she was tired, but I'm telling you, if I don't, I believe that it was from the blessings that she just bounced. It was just like, okay, I'm tired, but let's do this and let's do that. And her quality of life was just, mm -hmm. I know, through the roof. So I, I, she's a believer. I'm a believer. Um, I already knew it, but, you know, sometimes they're skeptical, you know, people can be skeptical, you know, so that, that, all that went out the window and she totally is, is believer and she still does her, her, her prayers and the blessings that you've given her. So yeah, she's, we're all both very grateful. Mm. Well, I'm very happy that it works so magnificently for your mom. Um, you know, and like I said, you know, of course, and I'm sure even Brandy at some point, even you were skeptical, you know, at some point, like, is it really going to work? Like, and, I, and yeah. you are the energy worker. I, and I will be honest, because, you know, when you're in that state, you, you're like, oh, I know what I can do. But then you even, I even doubted myself in a way, just because that's what happens. That's what happens, you know when there's an unknown there but yeah I was like mm, I don't know about this but okay we're gonna give this a try but I, I'm a believer definitely definitely <laughs> yeah I know uh, I think my husband was also kind of a, a biggest skeptic until he got uh, a urinary bladder cancer and we decided to bo go both ways so he received very powerful transformative blessings um, to transform the message of cancer within his urinary bladder. And I remember that he went through the whole chemotherapy. He never had side effects. His hair didn't fall down. And he was really, he was like very energetic. Like he, he looked like he didn't have cancer. Mm -hmm. And when he went the next time after the surgery, they actually had to scoop off to the wall of his urinary bladder wall because it already started to eat up the the wall of the urinary bladder so they scooped it out they put the stitches on and in six months where it was his time to check in they went um with the that scopic you know um camera and they looked they couldn't even find the scarring because it looked all baby pinky like a uh a pinky piggy you know the like a baby <laughs> looking bladder and yeah. the doctor was very surprised and actually in six months the very aggressive very rare form of cancer was non-existent so I mean and after that he thought that it's not my hobby actually this is really working <laughs> so, right. I mean because our family are our like probably uh hardest skeptics right yeah yeah I, so I, like we always feel like we have to approve so now he even asked like oh my ex-wife got in a car accident can you offer her blessings right. sure honey <laughs> <laughs> you know? yes. and uh we just recently became our grandparents so the daughter experienced some um, difficulties for the cervix opening so we literally through the text message we're offering the blessings for her so her cervix could open up to four inches and more so mm -hmm. the baby could come out and because the baby was delayed in the delivery process also remotely uh, I send the blessings to the baby so it doesn't suffocate or anything so it was just like a perfectly delivered baby and now she's like gaining weight she has the cheeks mm -hmm. she's like very happy very calm she's not like crying over the night like she's a very calm baby so and the daughter was drinking like blessed water and she received blessings and her baby in the womb for the whole process of the pregnancy so the results that she got with her new baby is it's both a pleasant experience to the mom and to the baby and even recently uh, she got like cold or flu something and she was so concerned about the baby getting flu but I said let me offer your baby like extra protection um 
protection. So the immune system of your baby is like boosted and for you to recover as quickly as possible and say, don't even think that you can possibly get your daughter sick. And you know what? Mm -hmm. The baby is perfect. The baby is not affected at all. The daughter is recovered. Hubby is happy. And it's mm -hmm. just... It's just amazing how life can be different when you operate on higher frequencies and vibration mm -hmm. and the blessings daily, weekly, yearly, how the life seems so much different and easier, even when we go through the struggles, right? I mean, it's mm -hmm. like so much smoother. And then you think of the human beings and that they never experience this positive higher frequency and vibration and how much harder it is for them to overcome and go through these challenges in life. Would you say like something about it? Like, because I know it's hard. It will be hard for some people to hear this information from you and I and say, what kind of higher frequency and vibration they're talking about? It's like, like, how can we deliver to them to understand that, you know, once you start vibrating at the higher frequencies and vibration, the life can take a very different turn, very pleasant, and how much easier it is to overcome even challenges daily and weekly, like in every aspect of life. Right. Um, I think when people are in that in that frequency, in that vibration, it, it's really hard. Like you say, it's hard for them to see or feel because they don't know. They don't know what that feels like. And uh, depending on the circumstances of, of either the trauma or, or, or the pain or whatever it is that they experienced, that that's something that they have to let go. And it's easy for us to say that. It's, for, it's really hard when you're in it. It's a process as we talked about. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's something that we have to learn how to work through inside. Um, and so you do that inner work and anytime those negative energies, uh, that the, the bad self-talk or the feeling bad um, can transform if you can tell yourself that this isn't what life is in this negative cloud, that there is more happiness to be had. There's joy, even though I haven't felt it, or maybe I've touched it a bit, it's out there. I can find it. I can harness it in and bring it in. And every day is, is, is a different day. Every day is, it could be hard. Some days can be easier, but there are times where they will feel that glow that light, that energy to where that's what they want. That's, that's, that's the golden key. And, and like I said, it's a process, but they can feel it. And, and I've, I've seen it, I've experienced it myself, but I've seen it in, in my clients and my friends and my family members. So I, I definitely know that mm -hmm. that's, it's a process. Yeah. Absolutely. So actually I received the guidance to offer your mom like a boost for the blessing and oh. because you know like cancer negative energies they come and go but we want to make sure that your mom actually remains um happy and healthy so if you give me the permission i can offer her a blessing so this is like um a very special channels that transmit the special treasures, the fields for the house, for relationships or the finances. So her mom received um, quite a few treasures and blessings to transform the negative frequency and vibration of cancer for the breast itself, right? Uh, for the skin, because uh, her mom had like a incision and the cancer was removed. So I'm sure even her scarring, it looks very different. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if that was, it looks very smooth because, you know, like sometimes surgeries, um, and the scarring, like very, um, 
harsh kind of looking, not smooth. So it helps uh, to recover. But now our job is for her mom to support her in the journey. So the negative frequency and vibration of the cancer does not uh, come back right so we send her another higher level level so that positive frequency and vibration the field will radiate in her breast and prevent further of any um remission so um call your mom's first and last time first and last name three times um silently Mm -hmm. So I'm calling her soul uh, right here uh, in front of the calligraphy. And this calligraphy means greatest love, that I. Love melts all blockages and transforms all life. So I'm going to do a silent invocation. Dear thou calligraphy, the eye, please activate. Thou order, please transmit to Brandy's mom a higher level of thou golden light bulb to create a healing field to further support Brandy's mom to transform the cancer, breast cancer. Transmission. All treasure choices one, because she already received the treasures. Transmission. Please turn on and bless and nourish Brandy's mom for the next few hours. We're so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, you know, since it's already in her breast and it's rotating and activating, when we say hello every day, do all my treasures and blessings, please turn on, please activate, please bless, nourish, protect me. The same you can do for your relationships, for your finances. Um, I recently, um, I had COVID and what happened is after receiving the blessings, my COVID was transformed in two and a half days. This is just like unbelievable. It, I know it doesn't happen when I tell people, you know, but it's like, wow, this is really amazing. So it's not that at first we don't get sick, but then as we get, let's say I have many layers of the immunity. So it's not like I don't get sick. Yeah, many times, I don't get sick, but sometimes if I get sick, my feel is more positive now so I can recover much quicker. Like before, if I get cold or flu, oh my God, you recover at least two, two weeks for me, it used to be, but then the whole recovery process would be what? Weeks, days, and you know, um, very painful process. So I'm just very grateful that as I practice, my field increases also. And it's just very beautiful to vibrate at the different frequency and vibration. As we grow older, um, it also uh, transforms our aging process like as I'm approaching my 50s you know I can feel that my skin is rejuvenating at the same time and you know it just feels good like it feels good to recover uh, in a such short period of a time and my puppy Dao he wants to say hello I guess yeah <laughs> so he actually received the blessings too he had um um he had what did you have oh he had crystals in his urinary uh mm -hmm. bladder he had crystals and guess what we offered him many blessings and i was practicing for him i was act activating them for him and guess what we took a urine test and he was free of crystals Yay. so it works for everyone it works for me it works for brandy's mom for my husband it works for my doggy and even it works for my fridge, like my fridge could not work 
So I offer the fridge the blessings and the sub zero after what it's about 20 years now is still working. Wow. Of the blessings. So <laughs> I tell you, I rely on blessings everywhere. Awesome. <laughs> so thank you so much. I'm very grateful. I will um actually leave um a special information. If you live in Scottsdale or Phoenix, Arizona, here you are local, you can stop by and experience a very powerful healing session from Brandy um, at the certain location where I live. Um, and you can check that place for yourself and mm -hmm. um you can connect directly with Brandy if you want to know more work and more things about her. So um, thank you, Brandy, for your time, for the thank opportunity you. to get to know you. Uh, we are so grateful. Uh, any final words, whatever you want to say? Um, no, nothing. I, I just want to say thank you so much for inviting me to do this. And I want to share something really quick with you. I was doing some, um, I was being in, in the mindset of being grateful uh, a few weeks ago. And it just so happened that I had asked for uh, different opportunities to reach out for other to others to share what I know. And it was not more than three days later that you came to the office and you asked me to be part of this. So I just wanted to share that. So it works. There you go. Manifesting is, is there. So thank you. Yeah. Gratitude really works. I actually was just on the Instagram a few days ago and there was like very, she was very old. You could tell like, you know, the way her skin looks and she was like either 98 or 100 something like she was like at her age and she was interviewed by somebody and that somebody asked what is your secret that you've been living for so long she's like I don't know I'm just very grateful for my life every day I wake up and I'm grateful and it's not like oh I'm grateful for this for that I'm grateful but the really going deep into the heart and the way she was explaining how she was grateful definitely gave her so many years to live and have the life and you could you could just feel through every word through her eyes her her being like she has a field of the gratitude it was just so remarkable so I said oh when I get older I want to be like this <laughs> yes, definitely. something to strive forward right yes, absolutely wow I was just totally blown away and so impressed and feel like it wasn't just words I could feel feel and the way she was experiencing uh what she was grateful for not like for the big things but like for the little things that even I would forget to be grateful for I was like wow that's like a next level teacher mm -hmm. for me that's so, right absolutely so you see how manifestation works you think about it but you got to stay positive you cannot be negative because then you're just going to attract the negativity you just really feel that a desire to outreach for more people, right? You are in that moment that your heart really desires it. And then boom, it happens. Yep. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> so, wishing you all who is watching this interview today to really learn how to manifest at the snap of your fingers. So you have excellent health, harmonious relationships, flourishing finances, and rocket ship on your spiritual journey. Thank you, everyone.